Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your games go from this to this. Now, as you guys can see here, this, this looks a hell lot better than the other costumes. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make that. But before we do that, uh, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. We're trying to reach 6,000 subscribers. So if you guys can, make sure to subscribe. I really appreciate it. Anyways, back to the video. Um, as you can see, um, the modeling has uh, looks a lot, lot more cleaner, a lot more better. There's, everything looks a lot more shinier and stuff like that. But the only downside to this modeling is that when you zoom in, you can see everything starts to go a bit pixelated. So unless you're somebody that don't like uh, things that are pixelated, this, this is your tutorial. And so yeah, anyways, let's, uh, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is uh, make sure that you already have your original costumes as you can see right here. Just make sure you already have them done because you will uh, need to export the, the costumes, which is actually what we're going to do right now. So if you guys can go to your sprites, go to costume, right click and press export. I'm going to do this for both my background and my desk. Just like that. Now you're gonna go to your new tab and this is gonna be linked in the description, but go to pixar.com. It should take you to this website. As you guys can see here, um, there's gonna be two different links, one for Pixar X, the other one for Pixar E. Click on the one that says Pixar E. Just like that. As you can see, I already made two models but uh, I had to scrap the video because the video um, it just didn't work when I upload on YouTube. So yeah, pretty sad. Anyways, uh, once you go into Pixar E, there's gonna be a little plus sign that says open image. Just click on that and just open one of the images. I'm just gonna press on the, the background as you can see here. So um, if you click on it, you can see you can't have access to anything. So what we're going to have to do is click on layers and then rasterize layer. Just like that. Now what that does is it makes it so the image or text um, pretty much makes it, uh, it just makes these things available for it. So yeah, now you have your adjustment and you have your filter, which are the two things you're going to be using to make your image. Now for your adjustments, I uh, pretty much just mess around really. Um, the main tools I use though are in filter. That's going to be your primary tool or the most important ones. So as you can see here, now you can change how everything looks. Uh, so far everything. I won't, all I did is change the temperature and already I think it looks stunning. Look at that. Perfect. Also make sure that this uh, your image is highlighted in blue. That means that uh, it means that you're using that image because when you're not clicking on it you can see no layer select a layer. So make sure you're selecting your layer so you have access to all this stuff. And they pretty much just mess around. Um, you can change this, this stuff. And uh, yeah, once you're done with your adjustments, really, you don't really have to do anything for adjustments, I'm being honest. The only thing I would use for adjustments is uh, all these auto pops and BNW and pretty much the, the temperature and tilt and tint. That's the only thing I use, really because the most important parts are in filter. So when you click on filter, there's gonna be a bunch of things. There's details, glitches, and bloom, and all that other stuff. So um, what I do is that I just go to detail, 
and there's like a bunch of stuff here and the most important part really for me at least has to be clarity now what clarity does is that it changes um, it makes the image uh, or the outline of the images pop out more or not look if you guys can see here I put it to 100 you can see everything uh, it's popping out more and if you do the other one you can see it does the exact opposite so yeah um, the thing with uh, positive and negative is that negative uh, I think is more for backgrounds background images because it gives it a more blurry like um, imagery while the positive makes everything pop out more and this is pretty much more for things that uh, you are specifically looking at so since this is just background I'm just gonna keep it at a negative 100 and uh, something cool about this is that you can use the same thing twice again so you can go to clarity and you can add as much as you want you can see here make sure not to add too much though just add like a little tiny bit but if I'm being honest I'd rather just keep it on the first one just like that alright now I wouldn't use glitches for anything unless if you're I don't know making like um, I don't know like a glitch type background or something um, I don't really use glitches but if you want to you can As you can see here you can change you can change some stuff in here and you have uh, this thing right here I'm trying to keep it uh, 23 have your bloom and yeah just pretty much mess around with this and um, yeah there's also another thing you can do is that you can add some lighting over here on the top that also works too so if I just click on this little plus sign right here and add an empty image uh, there's like this little brush right here and what I do is that uh, you can match the same color as your lighting or you can make it a little lighter in your brush you can add the softness to like a hundred and the size so when you click on this you can see it has a little bit of lighting I don't know if you guys can see it but um, kinda kinda changes the lighting I can make it a little darker here or a little lighter I mean there you go now this, now this is a nice looking office. This looks really, really nice. You have your uh, lighting, you have your background. Everything looks pretty good. There you go. You press download, and now it's saved. Now you pretty much do the same thing with the other image. So you go to your desk right here. Again, go to layer, rasterized. Go to adjust. Now I want to put this a uh, uh, a little bit of a blue color, like that. Filter. I'm gonna put the clarity at 100. Now you can see here, um, it looks a lot shinier. If you guys have noticed that. Look at that. I think that looks really nice. Everything looks a lot more shiny. Stuff like that. And again, uh, let me see how it looks like here. I can see everything looks a lot more nicer. Um, I wouldn't add too much clarity since it, cha it also changes the desk as well, and I don't want the desk to be to have too much light in. So as you can see, your frigid or, just, or uh, the same called frigid. I'm so dumb. Here you go. And you're just you're pretty much pretty much just changing how it looks really. That's pretty much all you're doing. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much how things gonna look. Uh, there's also a blur, but I wouldn't use blur. I don't know anybody that would use blur. 
but it's kind of weird. Press download, and then there you go. Now you have your stunning looking models. Best models you can ever have. And then, what you can do is at the same costume that you made your office in, guess what? You just click on upload costume. Make sure it's the right ones, and then you add them. And here, here's what I mean by it not looking, uh, when you go on full screen, it looks a little bit weird. It goes blurry because uh, the office at least, it changes. So you want to, um, you want to change it to um, to vector and just do that. Excellent to mess it up. Just like that, look at that. That looks really, really nice. Same thing with your desk. You just upload costume. And there you go, it looks a little bit weird. You just drag it down to where it's supposed to be. And then there you go. Um, <laughs> I don't know what looks better. Uh, I'm gonna keep it here, this looks a lot better than the first one. And there you go, look at that guys. Tell me this does not look better than the first modeling. It looks, I think it looks pretty clean. Look at that. Um, so yeah, this is how you make your very own looking office. This is, this is a, uh, uh, so you can also delete, you know, delete these if you want to. Well, I, I think I'm trying to keep it like this. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and make sure to subscribe. Um, let me know in the comments below if you actually want me to change some of the the imagery in any of my games. You know, if we get a hundred likes, I will I will do just that. But yeah, guys, uh, I'll thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys can drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.